one called DFS of G dash. It will have only this vertex. So this means this is a, this is a separate strongly connected component. So uh, component one will just have one. Then call two. So the two do a DFS. From here the DFS will cover this. But since this is already visited, you won't include that in the strongly connected component. So two four three will be the second component. So this is component one. This is component two. And so with this, you can easily say that, uh, see that this will be a DAG. That is, uh, how how will you draw the so see the nodes in the new graph will be C1 and C2. What will be the edges in this new graph? That will be if there is any edge between any vertex of C1 to any vertex of C2, then there will be a edge from C1 to C2 in the new graph. So in this case, for this graph, uh, there's an edge between one and two. And since one is in C1 and two is in C2, there will be there's an edge between C1 and C2. So this is the new graph, and just do, just take the number of nodes with integer zero in this graph, and that's the answer. So are everyone clear with strongly connected components? The algo, that is, you can now imp implement that right. If I ask you to implement now, you will implement that right. Yeah, so these are some problems in that is Antarctica Polis is SRM 312 medium. It's a contest by Petter. So this is a very nice problem on strongly connected components. So and yeah, I don't have time to cover Tarjan's one pass algo. Please read that for strongly connected components. Also read upon articulation points, bridges and bi connected components. All those will be in CLRS. So they are very important. Please go through them, but so because of time constraint, we are not able to cover it. And yeah, try Relinets and IMS examples of strongly rendered components.